Hello friends, this is Surendra Kumar Sharma from India. I am a technical architect in TA Digital. Today I would like to talk about content migration. For me, content migration is a project within a project. So let's suppose your client is asking for you to develop uh, or redesign their website. But nowadays, uh, most of the business have their primary website. So let's suppose right now for the TA Digital, we have this website. But at the same time, they have some other website as well, which are mostly focus on the blogging where they are showing their expertise. So this is the another website that we have. Uh, it's specifically uh, for the blogging activities where different teams and uh, techies are uh, publishing their their articles and sharing their knowledge with the world. So if if you are working in the site core, so it may be happen that you are getting the requirement from your client to redesign, redevelop their primary website, but at the same time you have to uh, migrate their uh, blogging websites as well. So most of the time these blogging ex, uh, blogging websites are built within the WordPress, where WordPress is free and very popular open source CMS, which is based on the PHP and MySQL. So let's suppose we want to migrate this website into the uh, site core. So for this, uh, we need the backup of this uh, WordPress website into the XML form. When you say XML form, it will be something like this. So you have this, you will get this kind of webs, uh, XML file where it have the uh, website detail. At the same time, it have the different authors and uh, it have the different categories where the category show that uh, which uh, a particular article are falls in which category at the same way it have the tags and we have the different items when we say item it these are the actual articles okay so within these articles uh, there are different uh, different fields that we have so let's suppose we will talk about this uh, this article so it have the title it have the published date it have the content where it means uh, the article body and this article is associated with some categories so these are the different categories where it is associated with and it are also associated associated with some tags so let's suppose we want to migrate uh, this wordpress xml file into the site core so for this there are a few things that uh, we have to or we, we require as a prerequisite so first this is the wordpress xml second uh, we need uh, some templates when you say template so i already have some templates for the wordpress so for this i required the all the authors so these are the different fields for the authors where i'm, I'm i have specified its login name email and display name and first name Similarly, we have the categories. We are ke keeping this category and its nickname. We have the tags. So it has the name and slack. And uh, this single blog article that we have. So for this, we have the articles like title. We have the body, uh, its publishing date, uh, different categories, tags, authors, and the description. So these category tags, author, they can be uh, multiple uh, associated with the single article so that's why i i have kept it as a multi-list and i am using a site core query to keep it uh, to keep it according to my content architecture so for this uh, we also need uh, some uh, content items so for this i already have some items uh, as a folder so within the blog, I have these articles where I will store all the articles. Uh, we have the authors, category, and tag. So I have these different uh, uh, different uh, folder item, and within this, we will store uh, all this XML data. So to migrate this uh, stuff from WordPress to a site core, we have created a one PowerShell scripts. So this is a this is a single click solution that we have uh, created. So for this, just go to the module PowerShell and script library. And here you have this uh, migra migration WordPress to site core script. So just right click it. 
uh, click on edit with IAC and here uh, you will get uh, this script so just select it and click on the selection so it will ask you the all the uh, path so by default we have uh, we have kept all the path to our template so for let's suppose for the tag this is the path of the tag template where do you want to store the tag into the content tree so this is the path uh, within this our uh, within our content tree similarly for the category authors we have to specify their template and fold uh, folder path uh, same for the articles and at the last you have to provide your xml uh, path of the xml file so by default i have kept uh, one uh, path here where all of my data uh, from this uh, from this uh, blogging website is stored so if i click on the import so it will start the processing and uh, it will it will start to migrate all the uh, all the data so it will first start with the tags it will migrate all the tags then it will migrate all the categories uh, then uh, authors and at last it migrate all the uh, articles so it will take some time uh, 10 to 15 minutes but i don't want to uh, keep you to uh, wait till it till it uh, till the uh, it finish its processing but at the last you will get your data something like this so it will at last it will show you the migration summary where it will show that okay it have migrated uh, 528 tags uh, it have migrated 21 categories it have migrated 161 authors and uh, at last it migrated 292 articles uh, from the wordpress to sitecore and it take the 15 minute as a execution time we can take it as a 16 so we require 16 minutes uh, to migrate all these uh, articles into the site core. So let's suppose uh, then again we will go to our uh, content tree. So let's go to the content tree. So right now uh, our tags are creating here and then it will create the category author article but we i have already migrated it so this is the my migrated blog so i have the tags here i have the all the categories authors and within the articles these are the article that we have so let's try to uh, see or check the uh, content of one of the article that we have so let's check the data of this article uh, Siteco 9.1 installation guide. So I already have opened this Siteco 9.1 installation. So these are the different uh, categories it have ASP.NET CMS and this is the title. So let's try to map whether we are getting this data or not. So if I go here, I get my data uh, as a title. Uh, body, this is the body Siteco 9.1 initial release. So this is the body. Uh, we have the published date it's uh, 3rd of December so yes it's 3rd of December this is the date that we have 3rd of December and uh, we have different category ASP.NET CMS so yes we have ASP.NET CMS we have tags so these are the five tags we have CMS PowerShell so if I go somewhere at the last I will go my tags so as you can see uh, by using this uh, single click solution by using this powershell uh, scripts how easy it is to migrate this data uh, from the wordpress to site code so somewhere in future i will share this script uh, for the community for the time being thanks for uh, watching this video and if you have any comment or suggestion uh, kindly put it into a, a box uh, that's it for today thank you